I also think that that's, I love what you said about that assumptions are often wrong. Cause I think that's such a theme of entrepreneurship is so often we sit and spend so much time debating and trying to predict how people feel and what they're going to want. What are some of the tools that you have used things you've seen have been effective and like my, one of my things is always like, let's stop talking and just get it in front of people. Uh, what are some of the things that you've found has helped your team do that? Well, we're, we're, we've, uh, over the last, you know, three or four months, we've been interviewing for a, a VP of marketing position on a leadership team that we just filled. Uh, but I remember talking to, to one candidate in particular where they were telling me that at their current, in past orgs, they've had very strong, at past companies, they've been in very strong, like AB testing cultures. And at their current company, their current company just does not have a culture of A-B testing. They don't A-B test anything. They just like, you know, kind of launch and, <laughs> and, and I was like, wow. how do you even do that? Because I can't tell you how many times I've been wrong about an A-B test. Yeah. Like, I am yeah. wrong about more than, I, I think I'm, I'm worse than a, a flip a coin. You know, I think I'm wrong about like more than half of the AB tests we run. If we didn't run those, we would be in a very bad spot. Um, so that's one tool that I'd mention is just having a strong data analytics culture, AB testing everything, because user preferences are weird. There's one thing I learned in my behavioral economics class uh, it, it, in school is that, um, you know, we, we build these all these models that assume humans are rational actors and and humans are not rational actors uh and and they they have psychological preferences that that you could never guess through a theoretical or paper exercise and yeah. so you literally just have to test test user behavior um and, and remember that that again it's you're not selling to a bunch of robots you're selling to people and and people have preferences and you have to build a product towards those preferences, not towards what is necessarily like on paper, you know, what, what should be their preference. No, I love that. Is there any that stand out in your mind of A-B tests you did and you were like totally shocked by the results? Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> so, so some that we've done that we just thought were, were going to be a massive slam dunk that we're not. Uh, we looked at, of course, we look at Airbnb. They're a very similar model to us. Later stage, also have a strong testing culture, so we we trust a lot of their assumptions that they make. They're they're helping people rent out space in their homes, just like we are. Um, so a lot of corollaries there, and we actually share a board member. Uh, one of our board members sits on the board of Airbnb, and and so we pass ideas back and forth, and and one of the most effective features ever rolled out. In fact, I think some some people at Airbnb would say the most successful feature ever rolled out at Airbnb was the instant book feature where oh yeah, hosts can sign up um for instant book and then they don't get an opportunity to approve the renter. They just trust Airbnb and and all renters are auto approved. There's no sort of approval process that goes in place. Um we, I, I, I want to say that the story goes that the CEO there, Brian Chesky, was very hesitant to roll out that feature, uh, kind of drug his feet on it, but then they rolled it out and it was like, it took their you know approval rate from like sub 50% to like 75, 80%. It was a huge boon to their business, sped up conversion, grew their revenue, the most impactful feature they've ever rolled out. They now push it. You almost can't sign up as a host without opting into Instant Book. It's so <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, ecosystem. So we're like, okay, this is gonna be great for us too, right? We're gonna roll out this feature, and so we put a lot of like love and care into building this feature. We spent several months on it. We ship it out, um, and it's it's highly successful. Uh, hosts are adopting it at a high rate, which is what we wanted. Our approval rate is is climbing we, we fortunately start already started out from a much higher spot than i think airbnb did they had a fairly low approval rate so it had a lot of room to grow but 
uh, even at the the high approval rate we were at, Instant Book was was sending the approval rate higher. We're we're celebrating. This is amazing. Well, two three months later, it ended up being like the most disastrous feature we've ever rolled out. Turns out that. Uh, our users are very different than Airbnb users in that they're very last minute. Storage is a last minute purchase as opposed to travel, which is, you know, you book it a couple months out in advance. You yeah. plan for your storage is very different where you wake up one day and you're like, shoot, I need storage. And people try to move in like 24 hours after they place a reservation, 48 hours after they place a reservation. And so that conversation that takes place during the approval process is actually a very important conversation. Um, yeah. And that conversation wasn't taking place and people were getting instantly approved and people were showing up to move in with like how having the details worked out and it just wasn't a good experience. So then we were getting all these complaints and it took two months, three months for us to realize that because it took two or three months for those complaints and refunds and all that stuff to start to roll in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we just totally got it wrong and it was a good lesson for us that, hey, we are building a unique product. We need to think about a product. We're the first person to build this product. And so we need to think yeah. about from first principles, not just because it worked on some other platform. We can't, yeah. we can't just duplicate something because it worked on another platform. Our users are different. 